Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler Weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We are tracking heavy cloud cover just south of I-20 down to the southwest, but along the I-20 corridor and to the north in parts of Arkansas, we're mostly clear, picking up on partly cloudy skies, and we're seeing plenty of sunshine, especially in Arkansas, and it's going to be mostly clear throughout most of the morning hour, especially to the north of I-20. There's live shots for Thomas Road and I-20. There's some clouds in the background. The clouds will kind of be off and on throughout most of this morning, especially this afternoon, but we'll still pick up on some sunshine. We're currently in the mid-70s right now at 74 degrees right now here in Monroe with dew point right at 72 and winds are currently calm. Still feels a bit muggy out there and it's going to be muggy even as we go around lunchtime today. We're at 73 up in Camden, 75 in Monticello, 72 El Dorado. It's currently 73 right now over in Ruston. Now we're all quiet right now. Doppler radar will stay quiet throughout most of this morning. We'll kind of be off and on with those clouds as we still have that stationary front just off to the east and winds are still out of the south because of that high pressure just down to the southeast or across the Gulf Coast right now. And we have another system that will move in from the northwest and with it moving in along this frontal boundary, we're going to keep that unsettled pattern for the next couple of days. It could last into this weekend and also through next week, but most of these storms will be driven by the daytime heating for during the afternoon and evening hours, and we could see some storms, especially in South Arkansas and extreme northeastern sections of Louisiana. That does include us here in Washtenaw Parish, where we could see a few storms that be popping up that could produce some damaging wind gusts that might reach up to 50, 60 miles per hour. Can't rule out the possibility of hail and really not expecting anything as far as any tornadic activity with these storms. It's just going to be more of a wind and hail threat as we go throughout the afternoon and evening hours of today. So if you're going to do anything outdoors, exercise, walk your dog, definitely enjoy the first half of today as we're in the mid-70s. We'll be in the mid-80s by 10 o'clock today, and by noon, we will be in the lower 90s, and that's where we'll be for our daytime highs with those showers and thunderstorms returning by 3 and 5 o'clock later on this evening. Now, the frontal boundary is not going to be going anywhere. It's going to be holding out. We'll have the high pressure just down to the south, keeping the winds out of that direction, and then as we go throughout most of this afternoon and throughout the rest of this week, the frontal boundary moves a bit closer, kind of just stalling out and kind of be, uh, just create a wall right there as the winds out of the south kind of run into it. That's going to provide that uplift and we'll see plenty of showers and thunderstorms along that boundary layer for the next couple of days even as we go into this weekend. Now clouds will be off and on throughout most of today. The heaviest activity will be mainly down to the south. They expect heavy downpours with some of these thunderstorms. Then as we go around 11 o'clock tonight, most of the storms will start to fizzle out. Winds will stay out of the south and then as we go into 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, we'll see more scattered showers and thunderstorms across south Arkansas and a lot of heavy rain expected further down to the south on the I-49 corridor from Natchitoches to Alexandria, but we could see heavy downpours from Jonesville towards Winfield and even along the I-20 corridor here as we're going to be mostly wet for the next couple of days. Expecting high of 93 degrees for Monroe today will be warm and muggy with the scattered showers and thunderstorms. For tonight, we'll see a low of 74 degrees with lingering thunderstorms. Most activity should be out of here by midnight tonight. And for tomorrow, we'll see high of 91 degrees, staying mostly cloudy, but more storms are expected for tomorrow and for the remainder of this week until we get into Saturday. We'll We'll see a little bit of sunshine as temperatures warm up to the mid 90s and we'll stay in the mid 90s with more rain chances through next week.